All right, Mark Shavel here again, um, fixing the hawk after a forced landing. Uh, my landing, um, as far as I can tell, I felt some surging, and I'm pretty convinced it was a fuel issue. Uh, the uh, fuel filter uh, didn't seem to be plugged. I was able to blow air through it. Uh, I didn't see any blockage in fuel lines. Uh, the fuel tank, uh, which is sitting over here in the bench, the fuel uh, tank has finger strainers for the fuel exit and also for the primer, and uh, they didn't seem to be uh, clogged with anything, and um, I, I uh, shown some light through the bottom of the tank, and there didn't appear to be um, any unusual uh, amount of sediment considering the, old, the age of the tank, the age of the fuel system. So um, what I'm hoping to find is a bad diaphragm in the fuel pump. Now, uh, this is a Rotax 447 engine, and it has a Makuni um, fuel pump. Uh, basically, the engine um, uh, has a suction line coming out of it, which um, pulsates the suction through this line, uh, which I had to cut it off to get it off of there. And uh, this goes right on there like that. I just removed the screws and popped this off and I'm um, hoping to find some kind of a failure of this diaphragm. Uh, unfortunately, um, I don't see any kind of a smoking gun here. Um, oh, I don't know if maybe that's something. Uh, I was hoping I'd see some kind of a big tear, uh, you know, right, right in here. And, um, I don't see anything. I hate mysteries. Um, this uh, partial engine failure uh, put me down in the corn and wiped out my landing gear. And luckily I walked away without injury. Uh, but obviously I have some repairs to do on the airplane. So I'm going to dig into this a little bit and uh, I'll uh, come on back and let you know if I find anything. Okay, we're back here with the Makuni fuel pump, uh, the suction, pulse based suction fuel pump from my Rotax 447. And uh, as I reported a moment ago, I don't see any big tears or rips, but the one thing which, which is disappointing, I was expecting a definite smoking gun here, but uh, one thing that is kind of suspect, if I can focus on it, is uh, this right here. And if I can point to it with this rivet mandrel, uh, there it is, um, right there. It's uh, got a little halo of something in there. Um, I don't know if that's a puncture or quite what that is. Um, when you tap on the diaphragm, uh, from certain angles you can kind of see. You know, I did see some fuel here, but uh, now it's not doing anything. Um, Anyway, we'll keep tearing through it, and uh, I'll let you know what I find. All right, so uh, I took the diaphragm off of the fuel pump, and um, that spot I was able to just wipe off with my finger. Um, it seemed to be some sort of an oil stain of some kind. Um, maybe something related to the gasket. But I don't really see anything. So it's still a mystery. Uh, I'm going to be sending the engine into uh, Steve Krieger up in Merrill. He's a certified uh, Rotax repairman with uh, Rotax two strokes. Um, not sure if he also services the 912 and 914. But anyway, I'm going to send the engine to him. Uh, it's time to um, have the. Uh, the cylinder walls uh, re-sleeved or honed uh, and the pistons um, either honed or replaced. There is some scoring and I'm hoping he can go through my uh, my carb and, uh, and the rest of um, the engine and maybe spot a failure point here. Um, I'm going to be replacing all the fuel lines and the fuel filter, um, but uh, yeah, not what I was hoping to find. 
Uh, like I said, I was hoping to find a big old tear right in here. Um, but uh, no such luck. So the mystery continues. Um, in aviation, I hate mysteries. They suck. All right. Till next time.